I'll now give you a short demonstration of IBM's SPSS custom tables module. So I select my data file from within SPSS statistics. The symbols in the top show that I have a mix of categorical variables like gender and numeric variables such as salary. I open up the tables command by going to analyze, tables, custom tables. Where you can also see that you can handle multiple responses. Thanks to the icons down the left, SPSS will help me with the correct statistics. So if I select job category as a row, you will see that the count of the statistic job title will be presented. If I put gender into the columns, then you can see that I get a table that allows me to study the relationship between these two variables. If you want to add a test, you can choose that from the additional tabs available here. But I have what I need for now, so I click OK. Here you see the result in the result window that is called the viewer, or you can output in SPSS statistics. If I'd rather have percentages instead of counts, I can go back to the latest command quickly and see that all my latest choices are still there, which I can easily change. If I right click on the job categories and from there can choose summary and statistics and add column percentages and then click on OK. Now I have two statistical measurements in the table. If I want to see the relationship between job category and salary, I just go back and replace the variable gender with salary. To do this, go to the latest command again, and then take away gender and select salary instead. And thanks to the ruler symbol, SPSS understands to present mean values instead of percentages. Here you can easily change or add more statistics by just right clicking, then clicking OK. And here we have a presentation of job category and salary. But a big benefit of the module is that you can dig even deeper into your data with more levels. For example, you want to add gender and agreement. I'll do the tables command again. And when we work with many variables, it's convenient to use the compact tab so you have better control of your table. You can add many variables into the tables. Either you put gender and agreement under the job category but if you have a look in the normal tab, then you see that you get separate tables. Instead, I go back to the compact tab and put gender and agreement to the right of job category. If I go back to the normal tab, I can now see that all categories are nested. If I change my mind, and for example, I don't want agreement now, I just go back to the compact and take it away by drag and drop. If I click OK, you can see that I will now get a nested table. One of the benefits is that you can add even more variables into the same table, so you can present a lot of information for within, from within one single table. Thanks for watching this video of the module IBM SPSS Custom Tables.